In this video, we're going to take a look at solving quadratic simultaneous equations. Now, I'm not going to give too much of an introduction to this as a topic. Um, this is just more of a follow on from what we did in GCSE Maths for solving, again, quadratic simultaneous equations. So let's just jump straight into it. So I want to solve these simultaneous equations here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this first equation here as 1, my second equation here as 2. Now, what I need to do is rearrange equation 1, make either x or y the subject here. Doesn't matter which, but it makes sense in this case to make y the subject. Because when I substitute that into equation 2, I just need to multiply that by minus 2. If we were making x a subject, then we'd be squaring it. There's a little bit more work involved. It's nothing too much, but, you know, we might as well make it a little bit easier. So if I make y the subject here, we get y equals 2 minus x. Okay. So now we substitute this rearranged form here of equation 1 into equation 2. So we get x squared minus two lots of this, so minus two lots of two minus x is equal to four. Simplify the left-hand side here, we get x squared minus two times two, that would be minus four, and then minus two times minus x, that would give me positive two x. Now this is all equal to four, but remember when we're solving quadratics like this, we want to make it equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is subtract four off both sides. And that makes it equal to zero. Simplify again here, we get x squared plus 2x. And then we've got minus 8. And that's equal to zero. So what I want to do now is check whether this can be factorized. And this can be factorized. I'm going to get a product of two brackets here. So two numbers that multiply to give me minus 8, but add to give me positive 2. That must be plus 4 and minus 2 there. So this is equal to 0. So we get 2x solutions here. We get x plus 4 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to minus 4. And we also get x minus 2 is equal to 0, meaning x can be equal to 2 there. Okay. Now that's the x solutions. We also need the um, respective y solutions here. And it makes sense to substitute these values of x here into this rearranged form here for equation 1. So when x is minus 4, y is equal to 2. So that's going to be, let's just do it up here, when x equals minus 4, y is equal to 2, minus minus 4. So that's the same as 2 plus 4, giving me 6 there. So we get 6 when x is minus 4. And when x is equal to 2 here, we get y equals 2 minus this x value here, so 2 minus 2, giving us 0, so nice and easy there. Okay, and there we have it. Oops, that should be a y, so y is equal to 0. And there we have it, so that's our solution to the first example. Let's take a look at another one now. So again, all I want to do is solve these simultaneous equations. Pretty much, or pretty similar to the last one. Again, all I'm going to do here is rearrange this first equation make either x or y the subject. Again, it doesn't matter um, which we make the subject, but in this case, it makes sense to make x a subject, okay? So if we make x a subject here, x is equal to four minus y. Substitute this now into equation two, we get four y squared, minus this here, so minus four minus y. And what I would do is I'd put this in a bracket just to make it clear in a moment um, what will happen with the signs. And this is equal to 10. Okay. So now I need to multiply through by this minus here. So this is minus one lot of this bracket. I've got 4y squared minus 4 plus y. Okay. So this is why I say put it in a bracket just so we don't make any mistakes with the sign. So plus y. And again, we want to set this quadratic now equal to zero. So subtract 10 off both sides. Minus 10 is equal to 0. So from here, now let's just simplify the left-hand side. We get 4y squared. We get positive y. And we've got minus 4, minus 10, giving me minus 14 there. And that's equal to 0. Okay. Now again, we've got a quadratic here. We want to see if this factorizes. It's a little bit more complicated because the coefficient of y squared here isn't 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this into my calculator, um, and that will just give me the solutions anyway. And I can work backwards if I want um, the two brackets here. So it's going to be 4 
1 minus 14. So I get two solutions here, um, and we must have um, a 4 y at the front of one of the brackets. So we'll work back for the bracket in a moment. So just put the brackets in here, but what I'll do is I'll just write the solutions first. So I get two y solutions here. We get y equals minus 2. And I also get y equals 7 over 4. Okay, so we've got y equals minus 2 and y equals 7 over 4. So that means that I have a solution here of plus 2. Because y plus 2 is equal to 0, so that means y must be minus 2. And then I must have um, minus 7 here. Okay, because 4y minus 7 must be equal to 0. Solve that and you get 7 over 4. So that gives us the two y solutions. Um, now we might as well just substitute that into this rearranged form here for equation 1. And we can obtain x. So therefore, when x equals minus 2. Sorry, when y is equal to minus 2, I keep getting mixed up with my variables. Then we get x equals 4 minus minus 2. Again, this is just the same as 4 plus 2, giving me 6 there. Okay, so when y is minus 2, we get x equals 6. And then let's do the same for when y is 7 over 4. When y is equal to 7 over 4, what I get then is x equals 4 minus 7 over 4. Again, you can just put this into your calculator or just times this um, top and bottom by 4. So that's the same as 16 over 4, uh, over 4, yep, minus 7 over 4. And that will give me 9 over 4 there. Okay. So in that case, we get x equals 9 over 4. Okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to the second example. And then let's have a look now at one more final question here, um, probably the trickiest of the three. Again, I just want to solve these simultaneous equations. I've got my first equation here, x plus y plus 1 equals 0. So let's label that equation 1. And then my second equation here, y squared plus 2x squared plus 2x equals 0. And let's label that equation 2. Again, I just want to rearrange now equation 1 and substitute either x equals or y equals into equation 2. To be honest, it doesn't really matter which one I actually substitute in here because we're squaring both y and x. But given that there's only y squared here um, rather than the 2x, I'm going to rearrange this to be y equals. So y is equal to minus 1 minus x. Okay, subtract plus 1 and x off both sides. And that gives us our rearranged form there. So I now need to square this. So we substitute into here, we square it. So I've got minus 1 minus x all squared plus 2x squared 2x squared plus 2x there okay and this is all equal to zero so expand these little brackets here minus 1 minus x times minus 1 minus x minus 1 times minus 1 gives me positive 1 minus 1 times minus x gives me positive x and then minus x times minus 1 gives me another positive x and then finally minus x times minus x gives me positive x squared there so all in all, what I get here is x squared plus 2x plus 1 there. So we put that in here. I've got x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x squared plus 2x. And this is all equal to 0. So here all I need to do is collect like terms. I've got 3x squared. 3x squared, 4x, plus 4x, and plus the 1 here. Okay, and this is all equal to 0. Again, I've got a quadratic. We want to check if this factorizes. Now, again, I'm being a little bit lazy here. I'm just going to put this into my calculator. That is absolutely fine, because obviously I'm just going to work backwards anyway for the solution. So 3, 4, 1. And what I get here are my two solutions for x. So we get x equals uh, minus 1, and we get x equals minus a third okay so what that tells me is if we factorize this what we get is uh, 3x uh, plus 1 so 3x plus 1 and then i get x plus 1 and that's all equal to 0 okay so that's our factorized form we get our two x solutions here now we need the respective y solutions and again it makes sense to use this rearranged form for equation 1 so when x is equal to minus 1, 
when x is minus 1, we get y equals minus 1, minus minus 1. So be careful here. What I've got is minus 1 plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 gives me 0. So when x is minus 1, we get y equals 0. And when x is minus a third, so when x is minus a third, we get y equals minus 1 minus minus a third. So again, just be careful with signs here. And you can just put this into your calculator. Let's be lazy and just put it into our calculator. So minus 1 minus, so it's the same as plus 1 over 3. And what I get here is minus 2 over 3. Okay, so that's minus 2 over 3 there. So that gives our final y solution here. So y is equal to minus 2 over 3. And there we have it. So that's our solution to the final question. And that brings the end of this video on solving quadratic simultaneous equations. In the next video, we'll take a look at quadratic um, inequalities.